Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Tandera 26RD 5th wheel. This thing comes in just under 8,100 pounds dry and just under 30 feet long. This is a one slide out couples 5th wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of this 5th wheel. Let show you what this little thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Tandera 26RD fifth wall here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is kind of a rear living room, one slide out front bedroom setup here. So let's get started up in the front and then we'll come back here and actually check out the back. So going on up to the very front is gonna be your bedroom area. So you have a walk around queen bed. Now this bed will raise up, there's storage underneath of there. You do have an end table on each side, electric outlet and USB charger port on each side as well. You have a little bit of shelf space above your mattress there. Again, more electric outlets and USB charger ports. Cabinetry wise, you have the little shock assist here to hold that up. Some shelf space and stuff down the side. Does have those nicer hidden hinge hardware there. You have a window on each side of the bed here and both windows do open. These are those square style looking windows, deep tent safety glass, and they have the blinds built in. I'll show you that a little better when we get around to the downstairs area. Coming back over here, we're going to have a little hanging closet area right here. And then you also have drawers down below Full extending ball bearing drawer, got a drawers. You got a heat duct down over here, electric outlet over there, digital thermostat for the second AC. This one was ordered with two ducted Coleman ACs. And then you also have TV hookups there, so you could mount your TV if you want. But there is a decent amount of room up here for a smaller RV to maneuver around. This door also has a little magnetic catch down there. Kind of hold it back out of the way if you want to leave it open. Stepping on out here, we have the bedroom or bathroom area. God, don't want to try to sleep in here. Um, bathroom area here. So we got a little vent fan up there. There's AC and heat both in here. So you're not coming in here and freezing or burning up. You should be fairly comfortable. You have a little glow light above the shower right there, and you also have that skylight up there. ABS tub surround, step and shower with the glass enclosure, porcelain foot flush toilet. There is a magnetic toilet paper holder down there as well. You can kind of move around if you want. Over here, you have four drawers and some storage, a little bit of counter space and stuff here, and a pretty decent sized medicine cabinet. Let's squeeze in here with the camera so you can kind of see this a little better. I don't tear myself up here. Sliding door for privacy. There is the on-demand water heater controls and an electric outlet right there as well. It has the suburban on-demand water heater. Now right outside the door here is a motion light. And then you also are pre-prepped for the Gateway Connect where you can subscribe to AT&T or like Verizon Wireless Internet. There's a Gateway Connect you can buy, hooks in right here, hooks into your WineGuard Air 360 TV antenna system. Motion light that just shut off right there. All right, stepping down a couple steps, you come back into your kitchen living room area. So over here for the kitchen area, there is a flip up and down counter extension right here. You're gonna also have electric outlet, second digital thermostat. There is your electric box with your breakers and fuses and your propane leak detector down here. You'll notice the heat ducts coming out of the cabinetry instead of your floor area. 
but overall quite a bit of cabinet space. You have the GE microwave there, hood range light and fan, three burner gas stove top with the flip up and down glass lid for extra counter space if you're not cooking. You have the gray stone oven there, which has a glass front and a light built in. Big TV on a swing arm so you could kind of maneuver it around. You have the Jensen stereo with a couple speakers. All vinyl floor down here, even on the slide area. So it kind of gives you that continuous look. Now back here you have the U-shaped dinette setup. And this has electric outlets and USB charger ports on both sides. There's also storage all the way around that thing. That will go down and make into a bed as well. But nice big window view. Some more overhead cabinet space up there. And here again, you have these built-in shades. Very nicely done. Theater seats sitting over here, looking straight at your TV. There is electric outlet there, USB charger port here as well. You have this pretty large pantry right here with adjustable or removable shelves. Drawer down below that refrigerator. And this has the refrigerator part on top, freezer part on bottom. It is a Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. All right, I want to step outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. Then we're going to come back in here and close this thing up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Tandera 26RD fifth wall here. We're going to start here on the door side and work our way around the RV for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of that cheaper wood luon backer. It's a foam block, aluminum studded fiberglass sidewall. You have a lower black metal skirting, a black painted front cap as well, some vinyl graphics. The unit has, as you see when we were inside, those square style deep tent safety glass windows with the blinds built in. You have a large power awning here with the manual override in case of an electronic failure adjustable arms for tilting, LED light built in close to the body of the RV. You have two 30 pound propane tanks on this RV, one on this side, one on the other side you'll see when we get over there. There is a motion light in here as well. And this right here is a decent sized pass-through storage. There is a little outside utility shower right here, electric outlet and cable satellite outlets as well. So you could mount your TV outside and plug in right here if you wanted to. You can see here the baggage door is kind of held up by magnetic catch. It has the little bit thicker insulated baggage door as well along with the metal slam locks. Your suburban on-demand water heater located right here. There's your furnace exhausting out right here. And just down below is a gas line hookup, so you could put your portable grill or something down here. You can see that enclosed underbelly as well, and a dump hose holder. Now, while we're down here, you can see these dual axle aluminum wheels, easy loop hub, drum brake, riding on Goodyear endurance tires. And just in between there, you can see that nice More Ride CRE 3000 upgraded suspension, which is kind of like shocks for an RV. Electric outlet right here as well. Get your stove exhaust vent up there. You have that heavy duty more ride entrance step right here rated for 500 pounds. Comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet, flips in and out of the doorway when traveling. The big more ride handle as well, which comes out a little bit further, making it easier to get in and out of the RV. Window in your entry exit door as well. 
Now you'll see little stuff on the side here, talking about like the Asdale, your Four Seasons package and stuff here as well. And then also the little uh, Care Camps Foundation too for kids fighting cancer. Check that out. On the back of the RV here, you're gonna have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. The unit does have prepping in the top center up there for the Lippert, or the top right up there, for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder so that you can have a ladder that telescope up and down as needed, and then throw it in the co uh, compartment there and not have to worry about anybody else climbing up on your RV, falling off, getting hurt. In the top center up there is prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. That's a nice feature to consider adding there. Allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road, backing into a campsite, that type of stuff. Now up here you have your roof. So there's little things like this little attic vent right here. You're gonna have that 200 watt solar panel over there if you order it this way. This one was ordered with two ACs. You have your TV antenna right over here as well. Some plumbing stack vents, skylights, all that type of stuff up here. Very, very important to get up here from time to time, inspect your seams and your seals, make sure everything looks good. You do not want water getting into your RV. Now on the back, you're also noticing it has reverse lights. That is a very important safety feature. I wish they would put on all RVs, but they don't, unfortunately. This is on the Tandera though, so people know when you're trying to actually back up. And it also helps just brighten it up when you're trying to back into your campsite at night. Down here, you have a two inch hitch receiver that is actually a tow hitch. It has a four way flat there, place for your safety chains. This is rated for 3000 pound tow capacity with a 300 pound tongue weight. On around to the other side, we have slide out over here. This is a 12 volt powered slide system. You push a button, it rolls in and out. Now, one thing you might also consider adding to the RV is gonna be a slide out awning cover. That basically rolls in and out with the slide. So it helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, shades the top of the room. Nice thing to consider adding. Just down below right here is gonna be your dump area. There are a couple handles in the docking station, but you have hot and cold low point water drain down here. You got a clear cap on the end of your dump hose here so that you can see that something's in there and if it's gonna be a mess or not. Hopefully there's nothing in there, but you never know. You got a light here so you can see what's going on at nighttime if you have to. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here as well. On this side of the storage compartment area, you're gonna have your docking station. So you have another electric outlet here, motion light, another outside utility shower here, battery disconnect, black tank flush to clean out your toilet system. You have your water inlet here, and then you send the water where you want it to go through these valves. You have water pump switch, cable satellite inlets. You also have your gray galley and black handles all up here. The other 30 pound propane tank is right in there. And then this was also ordered with the auto level jack system. So this is where you actually control your jacks. Auto level, retract, raise it up and down to get it on and off the truck. You have two jacks in the front with adjustable feet. And then in the very back back there, I forgot to mention, is two more jacks for that auto level system. Right here, you got some very important informational stickers. So first things up, this one is built on 32724. Model number 26RD, gross vehicle weight, 11,435 pounds. It's the most you can load it up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, and everything combined do not exceed that number. Had a dry weight when it rolled off the assembly line of 8,051 pounds. Exterior length, 29 feet and nine inches. Tire size, ST225, 75R15 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure when traveling with any RV. 
But overall, a really nice, clean look to this RV. Check out the front here real quick. Heavy duty fiberglass front cap. It is painted, also has a few little decals on there. You have two glow lights coming down on each side. And then you have this hitch light right here that you can adjust the brightness on a little bit or shut it off. Rhino pen box. If you're gonna upgrade this to like a trail air, more ride, something like that, goose, not, uh, goose box or something, you gotta make sure it bolts up to the Rhino pen box bolt pattern. Under here, you can see that charge controller for your solar back there. Look at that big battery box built in already. Fairly nicely finished off there. All right, let's step back inside real quick, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back up inside the new 2024 Tandera 26RD here. And I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close this thing up, forgot to mention earlier, but you're gonna come right here to your control panel. There is a light switch here with a dimmer on it, slide button, awning button, some lights for outside, 12 volt tank heater button, water pump, monitor panel. But we're here for the slide. So let's hit the button. This is a 12 volt slide system. It's basically a worm gear or rack and pinion slide system. So you're gonna push the button. It comes in up over the main floor a little bit. So it kind of comes in at a little bit of an angle and then settles back down when it gets in here. Now when it is in all the way, you cannot get to the front of the RV. So, you kind of heard that pop noise there. It's a little slip gear system that basically lets you know to let off the button. When it's in, I can still come into the RV and I can, you know, use my oven. I could load some groceries. I cannot use the refrigerator. I cannot get to the bathroom or the bedroom up front. I do have to hit the button to run that out some. But... I could come in for basic stuff as far as like throwing some stuff into the cabinetry and then the pantry and all that good stuff. When you're ready to run it back out, it just takes a few seconds to go back out. And you don't have to go all the way out. If you're just needing to, you know, run in here and throw something in the fridge, I got it out far enough to open it up. I run over there, throw my goodies in there and then close it back up to hit the road more. Or if you need to go out a little bit further, go on up into the bathroom or you know, bedroom or whatever. It's quick and easy to do. All right, thanks a ton folks for taking the time to watch my RV tours, much appreciated. If you don't mind, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, help out my channel, and as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We're actually the number one selling RV dealership for 2023 as well. Thanks again.